convince Voyager to turn its camera back towards Earth. And it was basically amounts to Earth's first ever selfie. And that picture was taken, and there was these pale blue dots. For the past five decades, the Voyager 1 has been making its journey through space, bringing us unprecedented information. Every single discovery sounded like it was impossible until scientists reviewed the data and, well, another piece of puzzling information has just come through. Neil deGrasse Tyson has confirmed that the Voyager 1 just detected 500 objects passing by in space and, well, that changes everything. Join us as we uncover what the Voyager's message really means and how it might just change the way we've thought about space exploration forever. Voyager 1, launched back in 1977, has been cruising through space for almost half a century. Despite its age, this spacecraft is in remarkable condition and usually operates smoothly. But it's clear that something has definitely caught it off guard recently, leading to this strange behavior. Just to give you some perspective, Voyager 1 is currently over 14.5 billion miles away from Earth and it's been traveling at a rate of about 3.6 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun per year. That's pretty impressive for a spacecraft that's been out there for so long. Those mysterious objects Voyager 1 claimed to have detected are fascinating. It's somehow been able to spot 500 unknown objects passing by in space. We're talking about things we haven't seen or identified before. Totally new information and something that no one was really expecting to find right now, which makes the finding even crazier. Sure, one possibility here is that the spacecraft's age is catching up with it. Think about it, Voyager 1 was launched way back in 1977, so its circuitry is around 45 years old. Voyager 1's antenna continued to point toward Earth, ensuring that the spacecraft could receive and execute instructions effectively. So there was no problem there. While scientists were confused by the mysterious data, Voyager 1 appeared to be functioning correctly and continued to gather and transmit data. One intriguing aspect of the anomaly was the fact that it did not trigger any onboard fault protection systems. These systems are designed to activate when anomalies are detected, putting the spacecraft into a safe mode that allows engineers to investigate and diagnose the issue. But in this case, Voyager 1 continued its operations without entering safe mode, further deepening the mystery. After careful investigation, the anomaly was traced back to the Altitude and Articulation Control subsystem. It was discovered that the AACS had been sending telemetry data through an onboard computer that had ceased functioning years ago. This outdated computer, which should not have been involved in data processing, had somehow become entangled in the telemetry transmission process, leading to the corruption of the information being sent back to Earth. But at this point, too, it was confusing why this was happening. Was there really a horde of 500 objects that made the Voyager think it was in danger? They couldn't be certain until they fixed the anomaly. To do so, the mission came up with a solution that involved instructing the AACS to redirect telemetry data to the appropriate functioning computer. This fix was considered low risk and was successfully executed. Although a major challenge faced by the mission team during this anomaly investigation was the significant time delay in communication. But the craziest thing is that the reason why the AACS started routing telemetry data to the incorrect computer remains a mystery. It's suspected that the AACS received a faulty command from another onboard computer, but the exact cause has still not been found. There are a few possible explanations, though. In the vast expanse of space, the environment can be an unforgiving and unpredictable adversary for spacecraft like Voyager 1. Cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures and micrometeoroid impacts are just a few of the environmental factors that can potentially impact the delicate electronic systems on board. Cosmic radiation, consisting of high-energy particles from distant stars and other celestial sources, fill up the space between galaxies. 
These particles, including protons and cosmic rays, can penetrate spacecraft structures and interfere with the functioning of electronic components. The intense radiation can cause electrical disruptions, alter data signals and even lead to memory errors or data corruption. So it could possibly lead to the computers on board the Voyager getting confused and sending out incorrect data. Extreme temperatures also pose a significant challenge for spacecraft operating in the harsh vacuum of space. Voyager 1, being in the outer region of the solar system, is subjected to extreme cold, with temperatures reaching as low as minus 202 degrees Fahrenheit. Such extreme temperature variations can impact the performance of electronic components, leading to unexpected behaviors or errors in data transmission. But those aren't the only things. There's also the presence of micrometeoroids, tiny dust particles or fragments of comets and asteroids, which can also pose a threat to spacecraft. Despite their small size, these micrometeoroids travel at high speeds and can cause damage upon impact. Even a minuscule collision with a sensitive electronic component can disrupt its functionality or create interference in data transmission. While these are possible reasons, there's also one more that's been quite popular among the science community. It's the possibility that the anomaly wasn't just a malfunctioning computer. Voyager 2, a companion spacecraft to Voyager 1, also made notable contributions during its encounters with Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. But if you take away from the planets and the moons, there's a lot of gap in the middle. It's space after all. However, the Voyager even found a way to discover something here. We're talking about the fact that it was the first direct measurement of the solar wind termination shock. The termination shock is the region where the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the Sun, slows down and becomes denser as it interacts with the interstellar medium. Voyager 2's measurements brought us valuable data on the structure and characteristics of this boundary region. And now we know more about the interactions between the solar wind and the surrounding space. The Voyager missions have had a lasting impact on our current exploration of the solar system. With all the flybys of the outer planets and their moons, the Voyager spacecraft captured detailed images, collected data and provide invaluable insights into the diverse features and dynamics of these distant worlds. So, it wouldn't really be a stretch for it to also be able to gather data about an alien planet and aliens on it. It's possible that the data the Voyager was sending wasn't just a malfunctioning mess, but actual details about 500 objects that no one thought were there before. If it can be the one to bring us to many significant discoveries, it might just be the one to confirm that aliens do exist and they're not afraid to make contact with our technology. But is that what really happened? And if it is, would the reps at NASA actually announce that? We might have to wait for the scientists to officially make it through all the data they have about the incident to find out. And when we do, you'll be the first to know right here. What do you think though? Was it just another glitch in the system or are aliens finally making contact? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.